This is BBC Pop-Up, the company's first traveling bureau. We journey from country to country, turning your story ideas into short, beautiful films. We just arrived home from Kenya, where we shot stories on topics ranging from African country music to slang languages in the slums. But this time, we're going to Canada. The Canadian federal election is quickly approaching, and there are big issues at stake that could mean even bigger changes for the people of the true north. But the outcome could have huge implications for other countries as well. The environmental debate over the Keystone Pipeline alone could help shape the political agenda here in the U.S. Basically, my life could be influenced by what's happening just six hours north of New York City. Hockey mania, First Nation tribes, I want to know more. It's so far, so far away. It's so far, so far away. We have like a pretty large like Lebanese community. We have a really large uh, Moroccan. There's a lot of Indians as well. So a lot of people think that only in Quebec people speak French, but actually in, all across Canada you can find people speaking French. Maple syrup is so popular in Canada that a few years ago a maple syrup exporting company was robbed for millions of dollars worth of maple syrup. <laughs> we don't live in igloos. It's a common misconception about Canadians, but we don't. We live in skyscrapers, houses, suburbs. I've been here since six, six years now and uh, since then I can never, never adapt to winter. Never. Did you know that in Canada you can actually see the northern lights? Queen in Canada, we have a constitutional monarchy, so technically she's the supreme leader of Canada. Canada is really like Chile. It's a long, thin country turned sideways, but everybody lives within uh, 15 miles of the U.S. border. If you never heard about poutine, you never heard about life. Poutine is french fries with sauce and cheese. If you don't know that, you don't know nothing. Come to Canada. Not bad for a start. We're starting our journey in Quebec later this month with a full team of journalists to learn more about Canada. Until then, we want you to tell us what stories you'd like us to cover in Canada, but you don't have to be Canadian or even from North America to get involved. Get in touch using hashtag BBC Pop-Up.